Hello, 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 and happy, happy, yeah, I'll just turn that off. It is happy Mondays, which means it's snow runner time, back in the no all-wheel drive, no diff lock campaign, where uh, last time we pretty much blasted out the majority of Pedro Bay, did all the tasks, and, oh, apart from one, and the, what were they, one or two races, like weather conditions? So today we're going to shift the, there's a big trailer here, uh, part of that mission. And we're going to do some logging first. So I think I'm going to start with Far Far Away, which involves going to Pedro Bay, as the other logging mission is for Northport. So hello, Bryce Pill Gaming. I am well, Raptor Online. Also, how th how things things are things are moving on well. We did some decorating yesterday in the new house. First time I've done some painting in some time, but uh, what we got there? Nice from uh, a nice, not so nice yellow to a nice dark blue in the bathroom. Hello there, AGL. We had a good weekend. So yes. Long logs first, and then I guess I I did a bit of uh, mission planning the other day, but then upon review, since I didn't do a very good job of it, I didn't really look to see what I was doing. So on the other side of the map, at this one, I've a uh, I've a trailer with nine medium logs in in a in a sideboard bed trailer, and I re and I don't need it. Well, I only need three of them. Uh, because this mission just requires one. And in the mission for Northport, the medium logs, you require two. You can just get them in Northport. So why would I shift them across two maps? But, uh, yeah. That wasn't really... That wasn't the smartest move. Uh, but each one does need long logs. So, yeah, we'll do a bit of logging. Then a bit of big trailer moving. And then a bit more logging, and then it's just kind of uh, patching up where what things have, what things are left. And then I think once the main missions are done, that unlocks the cargo was it cargo apocalypse and whatever they call like super order and all that stuff. So we won't quite be finished. We are nearly there. We're eighty two percent. If it weren't for the extra missions, we'd probably touching about 90% which is you know it's not bad going and uh, and then we move on to Tamir <laughs> where where the real challenge begins cheeky little drift there right so oh there's still a little bit of this map to traverse first I uh, hope you all enjoyed the Season 11 uh, series, which is now finished. All 17... I think it's actually the same number of parts as the Season 10 one. But they're both 17 episodes. But if not, you should go and check that out. It's pretty good. It's, uh, it's, it's not a difficult map by any stretch. Right, this is where it can get a bit slippy. Right, we've got the hill climb now. Ooh, bit of a slide. Uh, I don't know why, it feels quite... Maybe my headphone volume... Ah, yeah, my headphone volume's down. That's why it felt a bit quiet. Up, up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Now, I still don't think there's been any word, although I don't, I don't check it very frequently. Uh, it's still no word on the release for season twelve, which is ideal for me actually, because um, in a couple of days I'll be heading away for work, so I won't be able to play it anyway. So. The longer it takes for it to come out, you know, the the better for me, which is a bit selfish. Uh, but you know, <laughs> means I don't miss a lot of stuff.
You enjoyed the season? How about me? Uh, yeah, it was alright. It wasn't particularly um, challenging. So, yeah. The, the, it's, I mean, the ski slope wasn't, it's just, the ski slope was just drawn out. Like a long drive, there's nothing like difficult about it. Just stick it in low gear and uh, put an elastic band around the trigger. Alright, just take it easy for these downhill bits. Last thing we want is a massive accident. Oh. So, I mean, the difficult part of this mission uh, comes after the long logs because no medium log add on for either the Ford or the Transtar, which is a huge pain. Which means I've got to tow a trailer, and we don't like that. Although I will have the, the weight of the log loader crane, so, you know, maybe that'll help. Um. Oh. Should be a bit cautious on this corner. You just take the inside bit. There we go. Did you know that I didn't complete the... I did not know that. Uh, right, do I stop for fuel? I think I'll be alright. The truck isn't too thirsty. And there are other trucks around that can help me. We need, need the bonus fuel. Climb, climb, climb. I have not been off-road yet. What are we? Nearly 10 minutes in. I have not been off-road. Oh, it's about to get slidey in here, though. to the right. Oh, not that much to the right. God. Just avoid sliding into that ditch. Ow! Get off that. And then very gently reposition oh perfect look at that no fuss now right, we're gonna try and head through the middle it is the the quicker the quicker route, but you never know. We'll probably get slowed down by something. It's just oh no, I've gone the wrong way. That didn't take long, did it? Ah, uh, immediately gone the wrong way. Sorry, I'm gonna get stuck in the snow going the other way as well. As well. Right. How deep is this snow? 
That could be worse. I think I might just be able to drag through it. Yeah. Rock closed. Oh dear. I'm assuming that post. Oh no, it isn't too far away. It, the game just wants you to use all the small trees first. Because, you know, why not? Go the ground. The snow dissipates. The ground firms up. No, come on. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Oh, that was close. Ooh, we do have a. This, oh, I mean, even from a distance, this place looks awful. I'm just trying to be as gentle with the throttle as possible. But there's. Oh no. We get grip on the right. No, and I'm I'm not waiting all day to to slowly inch through that. And I'm gonna yeah break that. And then go from the back of the trailer to the post. Should at least be me most of the way through. I mean, it's a heavy old load, that's for sure. Go, come on. Get that power down. Right, that's the difficult bit, pretty much. All sorted, I think. We just got not a right here, the next right, which is more just general off road in, but shouldn't be too difficult. Down. Ah, spot on. No. Come on, Ford. Yes. Feel the power. I'll be glad I got that post out of the way now. Driving over that with this would be rubbish. But of course, way back in the day when I originally completed the three maps, you didn't have to do any login. What a pain in the backside. Oh, 
Awesome. Right, let's get rid of that. And we will hit the old recover, which will take us back to White Valley, which is where my other Ford is waiting. We'll retain that for now. Uh, yeah, so I've got this, and I really don't need it. So, okay. detach and pop three of those logs into that trailer at the back. Well, I'm going to try to. Oh dear, it's, it, it, it's so aggressive. If it wasn't so aggressive with its rotations, you wouldn't be petrified every time it moved. Oh, it's just like being in the arcade. All right, we'll just start with one. We'll do one as a warm up. Can't even get one, there we go, now we've got it. So when I do the, the turning of the manipulator, that is just, as you hear, that's me doing little taps because you can't, doing it like that, it's just asking for trouble. Little taps help. Uh, oh, I might see if I can just lift the end. Oh, come on. Get them over the edge, like that. Oh, why is the camera doing funny things? Uh oh. Gently turn. Okay, one's fallen in. Hey bruh, how's it going? Just... Yeah. Oh. Slightly intense logging times. Right, let's put that away. Yeah, you end up spending way too more way too much money on the damn thing. Oh, this hasn't worked as I anticipated. Oh no, I've wedged the red one. Alright, I'm going to have to be very careful here. Not... Alright, get rid of those. Delete that sideboard trailer. And... Ah! Yeah, I don't know why I didn't just do this in the first place. It would have been way easier. This is again, another easy drive to Pedro Bay. It's going to be a bit more slidey than, uh, than the long logs though. This the trailer will have a mind of its own. And then from there we'll do the coil tubing, which I think is the last large cargo uh, trailer. And it doesn't even have to go very far. I mean, the mission itself is worth next to nothing. Oh, not again. Oh, we've had this issue before. Just keep the wheels spinning. nothing to aid the wheels actually driving it's all the weights behind the truck but at least I can do that oh it's this this way up is well, I can't really say that this way up is worse than than the other, uh, because the only time I've come up this way, pretty much, is with medium logs with either one or two trailers. 
That is some heavy cargo to be dealing with. Right, there's the bridge. Oh, no, the turn isn't there. Getting a bit keen. Oh, God. Up we go. We shouldn't have any trouble with this one. This hill, I wouldn't have thought. But we are. Ooh, that's close. Oh, we're slowing down a lot there. I suppose I can show you now. During last week, uh, a little mascot arrived that I ordered for the Space Engineer's 10th anniversary. It's got a little Spaceman plushy with his ID tag. He's one of fifteen hundred. And he's yeah, he's got his little jetpack in front of back. His little feet move. Pretty rad. Ideally. Ideally it would have been red. Uh but not uh not quite. Can't have it all. Alright. Through White Valley. We've still quite a lot to do in White Valley, but there's still a good number of trucks around. But yeah, can you imagine using one of these cranes in those arcade machines? But judging by the amount that the vehicle moves using this crane, imagine if the arcade machine moved around that much. We just rocked from side to side. Whenever you were using it for its job. I don't recall the, the log cranes and like spin tires. Basically putting you on a knife edge of falling over. Or um, staying upright. Up we get. Oh, come on, keep the wheel spinning. Come on, find the grip. Find the grip. This this truck is really not meant for uh, for, for hitch trailers. Oh. Why couldn't they have added um, a logging trailer that connected to, you know, a fifth wheel, a saddle? You know, it could have been a long. It could have been. Well, it could have been customizable. For instance, you could have had the option of say like one long log, or two short, or a short and a medium, for instance. Uh, if only I had any form of, uh, you know, like <laughs> 3D modeling skill. But, uh, you know, a multi use without, you know, stacking over the top things and stuff like that. Come on. It's the difference between this and the long logs trailer. It's night and day because I've just got no weight on the drive. Because I mean, look at the wheels go! I'm just using the very edge of the road to make progress. What are my thoughts on expeditions? Um, I don't know. I mean, we haven't really seen much since so mostly scouts. It's probably. Quite an interesting concept. I'm getting more of the hardcore mechanics back from previous titles, such as um, adjustable tire pressures. And being able to secure a winch anchor anywhere will be really good. I mean, there's a clip 
of a car descending down a cliff. I mean, uh, normally you just, you just drive off, the, you just drive off the cliff, especially if you've got a jack that'll flip you over. Why wouldn't you just drive off the cliff? But I hope that the trucks, the bigger trucks we've seen in there, there's like a Tatra Force or something. Uh, I'm hoping they have some actual use and not just, oh, tell this out of the muck or something. I don't know, I'll give it a look. Oh, jeez. Come on. Uh, this using this trailer really sucks. Oh, we're drifting. Some more. God, this truck has got no weight. Basically, the trailer and the cargo are a bit... They're probably rivaling the, the weight of the truck. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use the Transtar to see how far up that small mountain I can get for the mission. Not sure it's going to go that well. Bryce, welcome back. Okay, we're getting through there, all right. But I mean, it's it's still going to be Winch Central around the corner. Yeah, let's ground to a halt, pretty much. Come on, little by little. Just really gonna struggle to get any, any power down. Right, the next difficult bit is going to be that big old puddle where the ground just looks like badly shaped voxels from a distance. There it is, rendering into view. If my, if my the ground would ever look like this. Oh, we've stopped earlier than normal. Okay, all right, all right, well, it's doing okay so far, it seems. We've got, you can see the, the front right drive wheel is doing a lot of work there. Oh, we've made it to the tree without needing the winch. But we've now hit the tree, which stopped us, so we're going to 
There we go, it's broken. But because we lost our momentum, are we going to be able to get going again? Getting a lot of wheel spin. Being so gentle on the throttle. You're hoping that the new game has more information on short. It's the main problem you have with SnowRunner. What what sort of information are you looking for? Oh, I suppose actually things like power to weight ratio and uh, actual tire. Yeah, that was a silly thing for me to ask. It's quite obvious. That's like tire performance charts and stuff rather than just saying excellent and then they're actually garbage. Yeah, the vehicles not having just graded, letter graded stats would be wonderful. It should have the power to weight ratio displayed as a, as a value and then the rating ratings of like poor, regular, high, very high. Or else you, you know, you go comparing, say, the Transstar 4070, which has a power to weight ratio of S plus, and thinking, oh my god, it's like more powerful than the call up 74769. Like, no, it's not. Oh, well, the power to weight ratio is better, so it doesn't mean it's more powerful though. Or durability, just. I don't know, being whatever they grade the addition of all the durability points. I mean, the durability system needs a rework anyway. It's not very good. Why does Gearbox need, like, 250 points? So what, what is it in this? Gearbox is 150. It's also in the wrong place. Um... Yeah, why does it need 150 points? Come on, Ford. You... No, you don't got this. Oh, I'm not really progressing forward still. Oh, oh, okay, the winch was holding me back. Oh, I'd spin those wheels. More descriptions for the tires, I think, would really help too. Like with chain tires, because not everybody knows. You know, say with chain tires, like good for ice roads, not for snow. No good for snow. It's, it's kind of misleading, but if you don't know, you don't know. Not everybody lives in a place where it snows frequently or at all. Alright, by 14,000. That's like more than the rest of the Alaskan contracts combined. Which is, the 14,000 is the cost of, like, the crane. So you're, you know, at a net loss, because you got to... Well, I suppose you get the money back for the trailer. But not in hard mode. Um, right. We've got... Yeah, let's have a go at this. Let's, let's try and get on the mountain. Oh, maybe a bit of cargo would have been nice, just to balance out, because I've got a lot of weight on the front wheels from that crane. Need that pressure on the back wheels. Give me drive.
right, it's uh, pretty sure it's this way. Right, just keep right. And then the last time I went up here, it was with a scout, and I thought, oh, it's narrow. So. You know what you need going uphill in a narrow on a narrow track? High gear. Oh. Why can't I move? Yep, seems to be going well. This is kind of a better camera angle for uh, driving up here as well, as I know I see what's coming up the hill better. Oop. I was watching your Scandinavia playthrough and how do you get your customization free? Oh, it's the cost of uh, add-ons and whatnot. You can set them to just be free. Uh, cost of internal. I think it's two separate options. There's one for add-ons, which means like, you know, like flatbed and cranes. And there's one for internal add-ons, which, you know, like winches, engines. Uh... Oh, really? I can't pull that tree. There we go. No, that's not the tree I want to pull down. I want to pull this one down. Oh, I can't. But yeah, it's one of the new new game plus. The menu in that screen is not very well designed. But it's, uh, yeah, it's cost of internal add-ons. Ooh, there's quite a big heap of snow in the middle there. It's going to make things a bit tricky. Just really wish I didn't have this crane. Oh my god, they considered second gear. There it is. Okay, all right. Back, back into first. Terrain it's getting a bit ropey. Oh, there's a, a, a really a small bush that I can't drive past. Uh, that's not really going to do anything. I wouldn't have thought. Ooh, this is a tricky bit. My wheels are too wide. I've got too much weight over the front wheels to sort of push them over these rocks. That's probably... I can give it a bit. Nope. Ah, oh, shoot. A bit more to the side. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. That's not great. All right, now forwards. Oh, wow, well, corrected that one. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, 
Oh, cool, there's an engine we don't need. Ah, oh, is there anywhere this thing can't go? There you go, up the mountain pass. Easy. Alright, for some reason, the trailer's on a bit of a wonk. Uh, it's giving a big lean. I do have chain tires equipped. Because most of the driving will be on roads. And where we will be off-roading, you know, we're, we're large enough that we can probably get a winch to or from somewhere. Just as long as the trailer wants to drive flat and not risk him falling over all the time. Sometimes the... Oh my god. Why is it... It's just tipping. Why is it so off balance? Sometimes the damage you get from small... Yeah... Right, this is going to be kind of a winch jobby, because I don't really have the tires to get through this snow. Yeah, we're not budging. That's alright though, that's what I expected. There's kind of an area there which you just lose all traction anyway. Might mm, not really able to maintain high enough RPM, or maybe now. Yeah! Now we're cooking. Alright, we should be fairly stable on these roads because we've got the chain tires. Should just ignore the ice value or the ice factor. It's a shame they don't match you, you know, your tires to your to your truck. Kind of makes sense. But it's okay. Here, you've always got to be careful, though. If, oh, jeez. We don't want to be falling down there. This is where I would really be struggling for traction now. Flying. Now I've got to go over the hill across the ice lake. Just got to be cautious not to find any bumps, or I'm going to have to spend an hour getting the trailer back on its wheels. Whoops, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I'm going to have to go through the middle. I'm far too tall to go around the border. Oh, this is... Hang on. Okay, more... Stick more to the left side. I would ordinarily... So, go here. Like, through the trees. Through the snow. But I'm too... I'm too tall. I will just fall over. So, I'm going to have to take the plunge. Force my way through the middle. I mean, we got further than I've anticipated. But now the tires are failing. Right, I'm 
Just try and stay a bit wide as to not break the branch. Obviously trying to be careful not to just pull it over. Oh, actually one from front would be much better. Pulling the truck up the hill. Hello. Right, up. Oh. Come on. There we go, there we go. Speed, give me the power. Ah, there's the hill we gotta go over. Oh, the signs just, uh, looped out of the ground. So, from here, it should be fairly straightforward. He says, "I've yeah, I've said that before, and then two seconds later, it's gone horribly wrong." Right, up and over. Oh, these barriers! It's killing my momentum. Now it's just going to stick to the front of me. As is the other one. Actually stopped me. <laughs> Stupid things. Alright, over the middle. I am right into you now, and I will tell just so that in such games. Russia is not in the blood with the bottle of... Right, you know, that's... Um, okay. Fair enough. Anyways, um... Right, this is going into Mountain River and then oh no we're not going to be too far from the delivery point uh, right yep so it's just the second left down the hill without binning it And that'll be all sorted. You don't want to take this. I'm going to log here this. You don't want to take it too tightly. Well, that's exactly what's happened. a little forward and back while winching just gets you free oh more barricades let's give these a two they're gonna fit oh thank god it does
And then just like that, we'll be paid next to nothing. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars, which considering the two uh, logs was fourteen thousand, it's a bit unfair. Um, right, I'm going to jump to Northport now. Finish off that logging mission from earlier on. Uh, da, 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 da. I suppose I can just use that one straight up. So, yeah, the sawmill is up here. And we need two medium, two and one long. Which we can get both from there. And then... Hmm. That's... Oh, that's going to be a very difficult route through. But it is short. There is that way. A bit slow there and here or just come back out to the road interesting a few different options of course this is this is one instance where I would say use, you know, two medium logs like in a trailer. Oh god, that's overdone it. There's, there is a certain little track that I have avoided on purpose. It's normally a bit crap. So... I should have just gone that way. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, you missed the turn. Oh no, don't want that one. perilously close to that barrier. Yeah, this particular patch of ground is straight up awful. It was a mistake to come this way. I should have taken the first turn when I had the chance. Uh, that post isn't close enough. Already running out of winch options. Oh, phew. So then, once you get to here, as long as you don't cut the corner too much, um, yeah, it's kind of fine. What's that? Ooh, yeah, that's not appropriate. Ah, oh, I'm all covered in mud.
Right, how is the logging area here? That doesn't look particularly great. And then am I going to be able to drive and turn all the way around? Come on, keep going. Oh, that's a bog. This is not a particularly pleasant logging area. Am I getting stuck again? No, come on. Come on. Right, now I've got a bit of weight on the drive. That should make things a bit easier. But given how that logging camp was set up, not particularly looking forward to loading, uh, manually loading logs. It's a flat area. So it's a bit muddy though, but you can see the terrain changes. It's not as wet. We're deep coming up here. Oh my god, but yeah, my power, oh my power to weight has dropped so much. Dropped to a B. Well, clearly that's no use. There we go. Come on. Just not quite getting going. Hmm. The sooner I can get back to the road, the better. trying to stick to the least muddy wet stuff I can so a little bit of snow a little bit of dirt and a little bit of mud oh my god second gear there we go a bit of progress It's just not the right conditions for the high gear at present. One, <laughs> gear one is just fine. I've got 
good. It's actually driving in second. We're going to get into third. Oh my god, third gear here? Right, that's the difficult bit. And just gently crawl through here. We've got a little minute traction because of the ice. Well, turn, turn. Eventually, you just keep. Don't, const don't constantly accelerate. Just like burst it while steering, and that will help you turn. Whereas if you just keep the accelerator in, you'll just do a slide. Gonna be a bit tricky. Oh no! I just needed to slow the wheel rotation down. So yeah, I, th I think for the journey to the sawmill, just stick to the road rather than trying to cut across country, making my life the harder might be a longer route but it's easier and I'm fine with that alright barricades Barricades and boulders. It's like we didn't even clear the roadblock. It seems to have brightened up outside. It was raining earlier. We've had our latest storm of uh, mega windy winds. Right, so in my head, for the medium logs, I'm thinking use a crane, load six medium logs into a sideboard bed. Ah! Use that to actually transport the logs and then just take a trailer to the sawmill. I think there's a trailer store at the factory, like next to the sawmill. But I wouldn't even need to tow a trailer that whole way. I could do both trucks at once. Ooh, that was sort of... Oh, I made a very aggressive turn there. Truck did not like it. Oh yeah, this truck doesn't have a snorkel. <laughs> but it is much cleaner than it was.
Come on, get through there. Get through. Well, while we're in auto, yeah, trailer store there. And it's accompanying snow, snow mill? Snow mill. Yeah, we'll just buy a medium log trailer from here. Don't have to tow it as far. This might be interesting. This is a pretty steep climb, but it, the terrain, the ground, isn't that bad. Almost like, you know, they, they realize, you know, they're putting a big hill in. You know, we can't make it too muddy. Come on, Ford, you got this. Oh, came so close. Ah, oh, can't quite reach. Oh, the, yeah, the wing mirror's got a thing going on. Can't need that again. I mean, the truck got further up the hill than I anticipated it would. I stifled the momentum. Come on, Ford. Oh, it's digging in so much, trying to get up the hill. Oh, wow, it's bumpy here, isn't it? Jeez. Come on, last little bit. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty not great in here. Oh. Right, let's get rid of that. I'll go to the trailer store and get a medium logs trailer and bring that back up here. Now we're just going to have a nice skip over the snow. Like it's no problem at all. Ooh, or not. Oh, that chucked up some mud. Right, head in here and then reverse into the trailer store. Run this up to the sawmill and then we'll grab 
a crane and a flatbed. This is probably going to be, yeah, it's going to be harder to get up the hill. Just, oh no. Hello, no? What? You're in the circle, but you're not usable. Alright, should be better. Got to delve, delve and dive. I think uh, I'll probably use the Transtar for the next section. It's a bit better at climbing. Come on, come on. It's just a trailer. You can got this. And leave that there. Uh, what's that doing? And what's this doing? What is this doing? Oh, was this when I tried to take up the mountain? Silly man. Uh, right. One log crane truck. Hmm. Do we just use a trailer? Use a truck. A truck and a flatbed's easier to maneuver. Two engines should be better than one. The lengths we go to for the sake of two medium logs. My speed will be fairly limited as well. It's almost too too much steering. Whoa!
Oh dear, oh god. <laughs> it's flinging the boulders out. What? Richard just lurches forward. Oh, it'd be so nice if you could slacken the winch. Yeah, you know, they could have a could have been to slacken rather than uh, pull. It'd make oh, it'd be such a good quality of life addition for towing. At least, because I'm not just towing a trailer, it's not just a dead weight with the Transstar. Can drive. Because then. Ah, yeah, these are, these are actually open now. Order Master Supreme. I think we'll do these last. So it'll mean, you know, we finish off the other tasks, contests, whatever. And then do... Although, I mean, I've done the login. They're technically bonus missions as well. They were added at the same time. Star. You wheel deep in the thick stuff. Maybe I should have done it this the other way around. It's hard to know, but you really learn by doing, don't you? So. At least if the ground is uneven, it should be fairly easy for me to put the trucks next to each other so I can stop the crane from falling over. Providing I couldn't even get around this corner. Handbrake on, switch into the other. So that sort of downhill lie. 
It's not great. That first log spawn was fantastic anyways. Uh, right. Get into this bad bad. Oh, I suppose I could do it over the top of uh, the cabin, actually. Seeing as the falling over direction would be towards the uh, the log pile. Plus, it means there's no uh, there's no twisting involved. You're just going back and forward. Uh, all right, that's not quite how I wanted that. There we go. Another three. Is that two? Oh dear. Quick, quick, quick. That's. Mm, okay. okay, they managed to just fall into place. That worked out. Try nudging them in. Nope, that's not working. Oh well. Well, that went very well. Alright, pop that there. Open, I can just. Turn around. This truck does have a higher ground clearance than the Ford and bigger wheels. As long as I don't winch too close and end up like shoving the logs into the cabin of the other trans star, should be dandy. I feel like the rear truck isn't putting in as much effort as what this one was. <laughs> oh, there's the line for getting in and out of there. Absolutely smash that. Alright, slow it down. Log should be fairly stable. Although this is where I might actually want the other trans star right behind me. You can see they're moving backwards. We certainly don't want them falling out. Though we're nearly up the hill.
switch to the other truck and let's just push all of those back in. Give us a nudge. No, oh, come on. Logs kind of on the move again. All right. Get that, get that caught up. Wow, it flew up the hill. There we go. If I start to lag, then uh, the truck behind will just simply nudge me forwards. Just going to detach briefly, just to get a longer line. We are smashing this. There shouldn't be any issue getting up the hill uh, by the sawmill. Which by how well this is going. Though we will need the other truck right behind us. Or actually, I could try and just reverse up the hill. That eliminates the potential of the logs. The game sound is too low. Um, you mean the engine? I mean, because that's the only thing that's going to be making noise. There you go, turn up a bit. Just en random engine revs now slightly louder. Wait. What? I've turned that ice into slurry. Also, you're like the first person to ever comment on that, so. Fair dues. Um, right, as long as I'm still audible. Right, it's just, yeah, this is the big lake. Go. Feather in the gas again. It's like a steer on the ice. Oh, thanks for uh, dropping us up there. No commentary. <laughs> Peculiar name, somewhat. Right. I 
I can never fully get the speed up. All right, hi it is. But yeah, I think I'll uh, I'll try and reverse up the hill. What map is this? This is Alaska. This is Northport, Alaska. Come on, a little bit further and then it's back on a road. I know you can do it. Transstar. Mind the snowbank. So I think after this one, I will head into Mountain River. Start clearing up some of those tasks, like getting that cat sorted out. Grab the bricks that are in the river. Um, continue to try and drive forwards. Get that map closer to round it off. Because we're very close to the end now. Might have to ditch that for a second just to get up here. Cool, have a good day. Yep, you too. Ooh. Oh no, it looks like it's bent some of these logs. Back in this one. We stuck on bits of debris, a little bit of pocket lint. bit close to the barrier. Sometimes just a little bit close for comfort. Yes, left here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to bust out the Apache for some of the collectibles around here. Some of them, uh, some of the areas are just too steep for a trip like this. Intermediate black ice there. Oh, we're nearly there. That's a bit of a, a bit of a slower drive. Just watching six logs on the back of a flatbed go up and down. But you know, it's gotta be done.
Oh, got the uh, like the double audio from both engines. Speak. Slow and steady. These trucks are doing pretty well through this. Like, honestly, the um, the Trans Star has been the hero of Alaska. I think the Ford has struggled a lot more than the Trans Star has. It's got that higher ride height, shorter wheelbase, bigger tires. It's just been very a very fun truck to drive. Right. So, I'm going to detach that. And I'm going to turn around. A gentle hill was rocking the logs out of the flatbed. So we're going to approach this backwards. You know, they always say, rear wheel drive struggles with snow and ice on a hill anyway. So if you reverse, you're basically doing front wheel drive. And now the logs will be pushing into the front of the bed, so there's nowhere for them to go. So, surely this should be fairly straightforward. The only issue is I have one speed. But I remember this is how we got up the mountain on the other side of this map in... Uh, in the very first stream when we were exploring Northport, we reversed up through the snow, up to where the uh, the race is to come back down with a single service spare part. Oh, look at that. No winch needed. <laughs> it's like a driving life hike. Turn your vehicle into front wheel drive by doing this one trick. Mechanics hate him for it. Just, just reverse. Yeah, that's done pretty well. Might try the same with the uh, with the crane truck, seeing as all its weight is going to be over the front wheels. So might as well. Oh yeah, I left the engine running. Whoopsie. Plus this route, uh, this method kind of limits your fuel consumption as well. It makes it really stable. Struggling a bit more here. It's probably the difference between the logging crane and unloaded medium logs. But I think I'd be struggling more if I was going forwards. And if you are just joining us, don't worry, you're not watching the, uh, the stream in reverse.
Come on, a little bit more. You just get around this corner. Smooth operator. Oh, we nearly uh, we nearly tipped over. I might just do this for the rest of the uh, the rest of the whole playthrough. Just <laughs> just reverse everywhere. Although if you add a trailer into the mix, oh, that becomes an even bigger challenge. Maybe that could be the next challenge run. Just complete a map in reverse, which I don't really foresee being uh, feasible. Especially when it comes to those super long trailers. They're hard enough to drive forward. Oh, we made it. Uh, oh yeah, might struggle to get a log here. What's going to be the best tactic? Uh, perhaps this one on the end first. Oh, just drop that, see where it goes. Oh, don't slide out. That's one. Right, there should be space now for me to just grab these end ones as I go. Oh, I've got two. Just gonna move these over here. Just hold on to that one. Not enough logs. Oh, it's once counted as red. No. Uh, okay. They're all green. Oh, this weak thing. Yeah, I think I'm too close to the other logs. Bring these in a touch.
Eh, see? Well, we were all right. Annoyingly now, though, I've got to get back into a useful position. That'll have to do. Not quite online, but that's fine. Third. Oh, that's not going to be properly aligned. Shoot me that back. And pack and unload. Nice. That, that unlock after yeah cargo apocalypse that's not even that bad so northport what is oh yeah drowned hummer Duh. yeah i thought i hadn't done is that the only task outstanding i think so drowned hummer and the upgrades and the two races so into or, or should I just get the, the Hummer now? It's a bit of a drive. Right, let's... Uh, let's put that and a crane on. We'll try and get it on the back. Give myself a bit of a route. Uh, so it's this way. How are we doing? Okay. Time is fine. So I think you have to bring it back to the garage. Could be wrong. Could be right. Can't quite remember. Oh, come on. You've just smashed through this earlier. Back into the wilderness. Ooh, that was an interesting little drift. Whoa, the angle of the wheel then was, of the front steering wheel was pretty severe. Oh. Oh. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. Why? Yeah. Why did I just go straight into that? Bit of a rookie error there. Oh, look at that, much easier. <laughs> oh, these wheel tracks are so deep. Chunking through the snow. Really, really slow. Oh, spinning wheels go round and round. That's, yeah, big wheel spin area. I guess there's technically a shortcut there, but I don't know if it's worth the risk. Not for the sake of just doing this. Surely I'm not going to gain that much time going that alternate way. Some of the cambers here look really dangerous. Well, nearly there. Ugh, got no weight on the wheels. Should be a lot easier on the way back. Because I'll have the Hummer on board. There it is. Forward gear, crane out. Hitch on the roof. And up it comes. Oh, it pulled the front wheels off the ground. No, oh, it's spinning the wrong way. Well, I suppose if it goes all the way around, that'll be fine. Come on, 
Spin some more. Alright, I think that's about as central as I'm going to get it. Oh, what is the mission? <laughs> Take it to parking. Yeah, back to the garage. Oh, I can't see the ground. That's not great. Come on. Come on, little truck. Awful conditions. There you go, a bit of weight on there. It's a bit better through that section. This bit just, uh, we did stop on the way through here. So, no surprise. Stop in there again. Yeah, don't go through the pond. Nearly back. Nearly. God, I thought it was going over then. Oh, 
Ah, oh, sheesh, what a trooper. Super easy, gentle garage transit. There it is, there's the delivery. I suppose I could have used the uh, the ramped platform, couldn't I? Without the need of a crane. Get rid of that and recover. Store that for now. Nope, we want. So the oh, I'm pretty sure there's one down there, a hidden upgrade, that I won't have got to yet. Right, I'm gonna mark her up. The upgrades. Just one there. And one there. We have not used this so far in Alaska, and we've done 87%. I really need to move that trailer. <laughs> You go the very unique Apache. Okay, and it, look at that, see? Same speed. Considering the complexity and challenges offered by SnowRunner, it seems that it would be very beneficial for me to consider playing the game from the beginning again. Suppose it depends where you're currently up to? If you've played once before but didn't get very far, then there's no harm in starting again. It's New Game Plus, you can either even tweak the rules or dive into hard mode for even more unforgiving complexity. We have to factor in the cost of fuel and the cost of repairs and you can't sell trailers. This way. Am I able to drive over this without causing tremendous damage? Uh, no, it would appear not. I really want to go into the water. Alright, the next one, 600 meters.
Bye, Bryce. Have a good day. We gently crawl through the mud. No, through the snow. Wow, apparently even low gear is slightly, slightly too fast. Oh, look, you're so slow. <sighs> Check the rear view. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Wing mirror. That wing mirror is in a. That one's not in a great spot. That one's in an even worse spot. Why would you mount them behind the door frame? The horizontal speedo. Oh, there's even like towing advice there. Come on, go quicker. <laughs> oh god. Just feels like I would have been faster to have gone back to the road. Oh well. Wondering if I can just go as the crow flies, but it's very hummocky, undulating. This road, this, tra this trail is awful. Show how many upgrades, uh, upgrades in it? four missing. Because they really shied away. For the first three maps has hidden upgrades, but after that, they were just all on the map. It's, it's, it's almost like they forgot that they did it. They either forgot that they did it in the first place or when they put so many upgrades into each region to begin with. It was an accident that they were hidden. Let's make some progress. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing. The, the drivability of this thing in auto is just garbage. It just swaps down to first. Come on. 
we're still like 400 meters away. Luckily, we brought lots of fuel. Come on, ah, some firm ground would be nice for a bit. So what is it? Behind the factory and up the mountain. If I remember correctly. Oh, F Eric. Oh, please. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> my my large rack of supplies. Hey, pussy tie. I think we're behind here. Don't know how. Oh my god, it's snowy. Ugh. Ah, that's it. There's a trend. I stopped driving the trucks, so getting the scout, and everyone's like, ah, I'm not watching now. I leave. I duck out. Oh god. I made that turn a bit too late. Yeah, just get the nose beyond that branch, thank you. Remember the yapping exhaust? Yes, from my, um, my Transtar. It was flat, flat, flat. enjoying and seeing a stable snow oh so it's fine today that's really weird that's really bizarre about to tombstone somebody's tent oh no it's not a tent it's just a lot of rubbish uh, right where's that ah I bet I could get down this other side Maybe I can't go straight over that bit. It's uh it's a kind of shortcut. Is the forest maybe a bit dense? Ugh. Oh, um, that is a position.
this is, uh, I'm basically practicing for expeditions where there will not, not be any roads. There we go, that should... Come on. That's stupid branches. Yeah. <laughs> like a branch would hold this truck back. A little branch. A bottom runger. Oh, uh, am I going to fit through that? I don't think I'm going to fit through that gap. truck has more wheels in its body than I have brains. What? Six? Oh, so like in the spares, three. Still not many. Sorry if you heard that, I've just got an email. God, it made me... Oh, all my days. <laughs> I see. Does this have a snorkel? Yep. Hey, had fun. Yellow crane parked close to container. Cargo four slot on right. And more far semi sideboard semi trailer. So when started, the yellow crane mode. Crane push 25 degree. Perfect. Cargo. Um, okay. I mean, all right. <laughs> cool. Right, there we go. The ground's a bit firmer now. I can stick it in the high gear. We can burn towards this little race thing. Oh dear. High gear stands for drunk driving. Does it? Oh, but well, because you're having to, you're all over the place. I don't know. For me, it kind of stands for um, not traveling as quickly as the vehicle is capable of. This is about three quarters the speed of uh, the auto box, the auto gear. Uh, where is this? All oh, right, it's around the corner.
does look like a weird old thing. Oh, hang on, the, the um, Jack of all treads would have applied to this, and I've not had a look. The Apache tires are already, they're decent. Right, what, where, did, where does this one go? Okay, so you just to uh, get to the four points in no specific order. So you go. I did that. Oh, can I get through the back of there? Um, if you look at the bottom of the rules, it says Apache for hard to reach places. And for any mission, it doesn't say scout recommended on those, but for scout recommended, like, I'm not getting a trans star up there. All right. Oh no, refuel first. Let's go. Oh, why did I put the handbrake on? That's just going to slow me down. What am I drinking? Oh, it's Pepsi Max. Ooh, that's quite the hill. Um, Come on, push the trees out of the way, I know you can. Once we get up onto the hill, we should be fine. There we go. Oh wait, the snow's thinner. Oh, ah, well, it's thickened up now. This mission, no more, uh, first person mod, easy compared to, to uh, try winch scout flip, you can only see, oh, just, I just don't fall over. Don't have to flip yourself over if you don't fall over. I've already used three minutes. Uh, right. 
Bro, legit. <laughs> well. My only issue I've had with the first person mod for the contest uh, is where you sometimes have to go through water and it pushes you out of third person. So you fail the mission. Even though you didn't do anything wrong and you have to drive through the water. God, this contest sucks. Ugh. It's so boring. God, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I think I just turned the headlights on. Ow. Come on. Oh god, the camera hates elevation change. Yep. Oh. You spend nearly ten minutes in low gear. See ya. See ya, Pesada tonight. What was the what was the point in this contest? Apart <laughs> from to put people to sleep, jeez. Right. Um. Now the other one. The other one is another ridiculous mountain climb. There's a Hummer in the sky.
Right, so last time I tried to do this other one, I drove into a fence, couldn't get over it, and tried to go through a really narrow bit of forest, couldn't get through it. Hmm. Oh, and I'm not getting to it going that way either. I do wish this thing had gone a little bit faster. the barriers aren't in the way. Failure to steer. Come on. away for a split second and all of a sudden there's a barrier there. Uh, getting up speed in fifth in the fifth gear. Will it ever get into six? It has done, and we're slowing down because it doesn't know what to do with six gear and then back to first. Weird thing. Right, North Mountain Conquest. Oh, it's reached them all. It doesn't matter what order. You get 11 minutes. Ugh. Well, if I say... All right, let's plot out a route. That way I've got the distance to everywhere. Another 10 excruciating minutes of low gear coming up. Because low plus would be too much anyway. Climbing. Oh, God. Camera hits being at funny angles. It hits the vehicle being at funny angles. Ooh, that's close. Jerk the camera to the side, I was ready, ready to deploy the quick winch. Oh my god, the snow's thick. Right, after nearly 
two, well, actually, after two and a half minutes, I've reached the first point. God, I can barely see the ground. It's going to be the safest way up here. It's pretty dangerous. But it's actually to a big tree. I'm safe. I'm not going over it. I suppose the snow is this slow just to make it somewhat drivable? I don't know. Ah. I'm gonna have to go between those trees. Tree branches, the menace of any snowrunner player getting in the way once more. Let me through. Oh, come on. See. Isn't this just the best viewing? <laughs> really in the edge of your seat stuff. God, contests in the snow suck. There's still a few more I've got to do as well.
Well, nearly there. Oh, luckily it has not taken 11 minutes. Jeez. Alright, and then one area to check. Which won't take me long to get to. Is the riverbank. It's not the riverbank, the, it's essentially the coast. For the. I'm sure there's an upgrade along there. I don't know if I've got it. But better to check. Otherwise, uh, da, 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 da. that would be Northport all done. Yes, yeah, so I think it's along here somewhere. Oh, hang on, there's probably some. There's got to be something in there. There's a vehicle in there. So I'm not quite done in here yet. Give it some steer. It's certainly easier than getting uh, <laughs> get the trans star up here. into slow mode. Right, come on. Oh yeah, just doubles back around. Come on, front wheels, drag us up. Right now, just the downhill blast. Can't even go quickly downhill. Must go slow.
just was just thinking it'd be nice if I could use the prototype exploration trailer, but uh, obviously it requires a scout hitch, and I'm not allowed to use a scout that has a hitch for obvious reasons. So no, you can't use that because you have to be properly connected to it in order to in order to use the radar function. I guess, you know, for connecting the three pin or two pin, whatever it is, for uh, American trucks and trailers. Right, we're back here, so we're just going to dip along the course lines a bit. Might be down there. Mm. I don't see a crash car or a scrapped car. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Race suspension for the Hummer. Uh, right, come to there. Oh, I thought you were going to struggle to get out of there then. I think it is under eight, but it does have some kind of glaring weaknesses. It is, I mean, although everything is slow in the snow, to be honest, isn't it? So it is kind of a go anywhere mobile. Well, I can't say I'm too fond of its general appearance. If, you know, very tall, narrow wheels. I don't know, something something just sits off for me. But it is quite capable. Yeah, to me, it's not. It's not a looker. <laughs> All right, I don't think I've been this way before. Missions finished. Oh, there's still ten. Three of them are three of them are contracts. I do have some tasks, I think.
What an awkward place for somebody to live. Has the road gone? Oh, my days. Ah, there's a there's a branch. Impeding. <laughs> Joking. Look at the fight the tree's putting up. I just because the trees are too close together. If I can't drive a scout through a gap, <laughs> it's still got hold of me. What on earth? Stupid branches. Oh. Okay, the truck is now just refusing to turn. Okay, why, why is there a tree on the bridge? Can't go to waste. Oi. Oh, well, I guess we're going back the way I came. With, with a bigger vehicle. Uh, oh, sure. It's not really where I get a trans star or anything. Oh. To where that house is. The tree's alone would just prevent it from getting through there. Does this engine work? This is grim. All right, is it gonna let me just pass through? The, the turn of speed.
This thing does not make a good tow truck. <laughs> There's a cliff. <laughs> oh, oh, it yanked me backwards. Little more, little more. So it seems that if I pull the winch in, the Lord Star actually drives, making it much easier to tow. Right, so I think. I think now that's everything in Northport. In its entirety. Three contracts there. So, White Valley just has weather forecast. Pedro Bay doesn't have anything apart from those final contract pieces. So, Mountain River has two tasks and two contests but that is what we we're gonna have to look at that next time because it is time to end so i do want to thank you all very so much for watching i hope i know the end last sort of 45 30 minutes was very slow going for the apache doing those contests but uh yeah i hope you all have a great week and uh and i will catch you in the next one Bye bye